on the link or use your web browser to go to the ePoster submission website for the Congress. Click on Submit Poster. You are now in the first step of poster submission. You are asked to provide your unique poster submission code, which was sent to you in your acceptance email. Type your poster submission code or copy and paste it from the email. Remember, if at any time you have a question or concern, you can use the live or email-based support. Click on Confirm and Proceed. You are now taken to the second step of the poster submission system. For confirmation purposes, the system checks the poster submission code and returns the title and authors of the poster you are submitting so you can review the information. Assuming everything looks fine, click to proceed. You have now successfully completed the first two steps and are ready to upload your poster file. Before uploading your file, the system reminds you of the meeting poster specifications, like the required dimensions and orientation. Click to select the file from your computer. Start the upload. The upload finishes in the background. As an option, you are asked to include part or all of the text of your poster. You may either type it into the box or copy and paste from your poster file. The text is used by the search engine, which is built into the system and boosts the discoverability of your work on the web when people search by keyword, topic, author, or any terms included in the text of your poster. Click Confirm and proceed. You have successfully completed the first three steps and are now in the last step of the submission process. In this step, you are shown an overview of the information you provided so you can review everything before submitting it to the meeting. Click on the thumbnail to open the submitted file on a new tab or in a window of your browser. Check the poster file you submitted to verify it's the correct one. Once you're sure, go back to the fourth step of the poster submission process. With the click of a button, you can opt in or out of having your e-poster published online during and after the meeting. Click on Confirm and submit your poster. Congratulations! Your submission has been received. An email has been sent to your email address confirming the successful reception of your e-poster by the Congress. If you wish to update, edit, or change your submitted poster at any time before or during the meeting, simply follow the exact same procedure using your unique poster submission code.